Hello everyone, it's me ASMR Aribo welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you the movie poster design, this type of movie, the Hollywood movie poster like this one is like the uh, biography or like that. So here uh, what I have done here, let's see, yeah, here at first I took a background and I merged the background with that, suppose here is two photos one is the grass and another one is sky and after that man and i cut it down and here is my stock image and i just cut down the background and separate the man with that and then the color i used here some couples of color corrections like that now the gradient map which is uh, like this so after that gradient and the channel mixture i used here and after that i write down something which is like that the title here here is the title and here is the cast and crew and here the awards and after that i used a unique collection preset and i finished my design so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first go to the file and open up here is my stock image this one this man and we'll cut it down from the background and separate this one so how to do that just go to the quick selection tool you can use any kind of selection tool for this purpose or for cutting purpose i'm using here the quick selection tool select here select full things yeah it's selected yeah that's good and select the smallest portion of this you can do that and after that mask this one and right press here and select and mask options and smooth feather I don't need to add feather and the radius like that and here layer with the layer mask and hit the ok button the model cut it down from the background and i'll use this one so after that go to the file options and go to the new options and i'll take uh, like a uh, background which is uh, the print type background a4 type yeah a4 background that's good and after that go to the file and place embedded options from here here is my ground or grass stock image and make it a little bit bigger and place over here and right press over here and restylize that and after that mask it and just go to the gradient options and mask it out so i'll just delete or mask this portion so that's good and after that select this background and go to the solid color from here and take the solid color which is the ash color solid that's good so after that select this color background go to the file and place embedded options from here here is a sky and i'll place it out so select here and select properly it will be more amazing if you select or just place it properly that's good and my background is done after that select these three things make it group and make it screenshot and after that go to the filter and blur and tilt shift blur so from the blur gallery you are getting the tilt shift blur so i'll make the blur like that realistic blur like that yeah that's good and hit the ok button and i'll suggest you to make the blur after adding the model so i'm just do this one and then go to the file and here I'll drag it and drop it and press ctrl T and make it smaller like that yeah that's good right press and flip horizontal that's good and just place it out and after that right press and apply layer mask and then mask it out and from the brush tool here is the brush and I'll use the grass type brush so like that and you can brush up here so it will be more realistic so that's good 
you can change the brush size and other stuff so that's good yeah and it's done you can just brush if you need so make the brush is smaller by pressing third bracket opening and closing so i'll brush up all the areas that's good and take another new uh, normal brush and you can brush it out and it will be like that yeah that's good so after that go to the file and like uh, the blur gallery and till shape blur now i'll just make it blur like that so that's good and hit the ok button so it will take time to load it up and give you the like blur background yeah that's good and now select these two things and then i'll take a new blank layer behind or here in front of this layer so after that go to the edit options and go to the fill options and 50 percent gray and just create clipping mask and make the blending mode into overlay so i'll apply the dodge and burn process in this portion so how to do that go to the dodge and burn options and dodge is the light uh, highlight here and the burn for the like uh, shadows so i'll apply the burn in our hairs and other stuffs these areas these area as well so that's good now just i'll select these two things uh, two or three things and make it group yeah that's good and now i'll apply the color or other stuff go to the adjustment layer and go to the gradient map and use the gradient map this one but change the color like aqua type color and hit ok and after that go to the blending mode and make it soft light that is good and i'll change the fill color yeah that's good and after that go to the adjustment and go to the gradient use the black one black gradient so add here and hit ok so that's good and after that Go to the adjustment and if you need you can use any kind of a brightness or contrast i'll add some contrast yeah that's good and i'll select these three things and make it group and after that so this one is background this one is the model and this one is the gradient and other steps and now i'll use the text and other steps so the name was jack so what was the font let's see what was the font and we'll use that font so here so the font was like that i'll give you the font download link to you for your purpose and check out my video description for that that's good and press ctrl t and make it bigger like that that's good and i need to add some thing in uh, upper set so go to the crop tool here and make it a little bit bigger here in this portion press ctrl t and you can make it bigger like that that's good and now i'll use that so i'll take this one the text and this portion okay that's good press ctrl t and make it a little bit bigger and then take a new text which is like nexa or normal type yeah so go to the character if you want to get the character options over here go to the window and character so from here i'll make it all caps and like that yeah and then i'll place it out over here press ctrl t and make it smaller or align with that yeah that's fine and now i'll go to the file and place embedded options and from here i'll add some like awards which is like that yeah that's good and make it in the middle yeah that's good and 
these text as well press group ctrl g and make it in a middle and select these options make it restylize and go to the blending options from here i'll make it color overlay i'll make it white color from here so hit ok and now go to the file again and go to the place embedded options and from here here is the footer options the cast and crew so i'll make it smaller like that that's good and change the blending mode into like a screen yeah that's good this portion and this portion i'll make it a little bit upper this one is my text and this one is this so take it in upper set that's good now this one is more realistic now time for apply the preset from the google nick collection so i'll select all the layers here 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 and here press ctrl e okay uh, the management layer management so this one is bg and this one was the model and this one was uh, like the lights and this one was the text that's good and now we are getting like that and now go to the filter and nick collection and color effects pro so color effects pro 4 this one is plugins of the photoshop if you want to get the download link of these plugins please check out my video description so it's taking time to load it up and now i got this one so here are lots of filters which one is perfect for your items or your photographs so this one totally up to you so here which one is for your photography or your work i think this one is good for this one and hit ok it will take time to load it up and give you the final output and give you the like wow type color so it's almost done yeah so we are getting a movie poster like uh, lazy food and the biography type movie poster you can follow my steps and you can just uh, make another one hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye